back everybody today is June 24th I, I couldn't remember what month it was that's uh it's a little crazy when you don't know what month it is so I'm just out for a little ride it is Sunday uh, I spent all of yesterday uh, working on the spider it was uh, time for me to replace the rear tire once again so it was uh, rear, rear brake pads yesterday uh, replaced the tire once again I put right on in the rear tire to balance it uh, what else did I do I was going to do an oil change because I'm a couple hundred miles over the oil change of where I wanted to change it um, but when I went to put the rear tire on, usually it's a, a pretty simple procedure. Um, this time it was not. You know, the tire went on no problem. Um, I did have issues trying to get the axle out. But it just had a lot of build up and, and rust on it. Uh, you know, so that was easy. I cleaned that up, put some synthetic grease on it to help prevent that in the future. Uh, same with where the rotor and the alloy wheel come together. You know, the aluminum wheel and the steel rotor causes crazy, crazy corrosion. So, uh, a little synthetic grease in between those two pieces. So, hopefully, next time it won't be corroded on. But when I went to to make sure the butt was properly adjusted and lined up with the rear pulley, no matter what I did, I could not get this belt. I have the tension, the tension on it's fine, but I, I cannot, to save my life, get the alignment correct. It's five millimeters outside of spec at the very least which is absolutely insane. It's clear on the outside edge of the pulley. And I literally spent almost five hours getting that thing to, to ride where it was supposed to. And, and to be honest with you, I, I couldn't, I gave up. And uh, it's one of those, I don't care, I'm going for a ride. I don't want to say I wasted a day yesterday because it wasn't a waste. You know, I had to get the, the maintenance done on the Spider. You know, if I'm going to ride it any time this year, I had to replace that back tire. Um, Gimpy Garage said it was as bald as him. And since then, it's been to Virginia on a trip and West Virginia on a trip. So it was... Uh, bolder than Gimpy Garage which if you guys have not checked out his channel I, I don't even know if I've given him a shout out yet I've, I've have in the past but I don't even think I've uploaded him he has a beautiful uh, special edition F3 limited and uh, the dude can tell a story you know check him out man the guy can tell a story he can make you laugh he can make you cry and he has a, an absolutely beautiful spider. So, what am I, I think I'm on Old Horns Mill Road or Horns Mill Road. And I'm heading to uh, the Hocking, not the Hocking Hills, Hideaway Hills. Ooh, look at the big birdies. And yes, I know they're Canadian geese, but they're big birdies. Look at the big birdies. So, you know, I have to put this spider in the shop, and I'm, I don't want to. Um, in December, I, I called the shop that I bought it and said, hey, I'm bringing it to you. You know, and after we talked on the phone for 20 minutes or so, you know, we were all on the same page. So when I called them to schedule it, so when I called to schedule the repairs, you know, I was informed that they don't want my business anymore, which is fine. But it, it's put me now in a position to where we're at the beginning of summer 
and I don't want the spider to go away and I haven't been able to take out that new shop yet there is one I'm looking at I placed a call to him but before you buy a spider get service done to a spider you know I highly recommend you check them out you read reviews but you go there in person and and I don't think it's a, a prick move but you want to know how they work and you want them to know what you're expecting from them So, I'm probably going to have to take a ride. It's, uh, I don't know if it's 60 miles outside of Columbus or 60 miles from my house. So, it's a lot closer than Middletown Cycle. Middletown Cycle is like 120 miles away. So, even if it's 80 miles away, that's a lot closer. So, I need to get over to them. Uh, yesterday the throttle hung at, I don't know if I can get it to do it or not, I'm kind of on a straightaway. Seeing I can, it's hanging up, no it's not. So it's not a safety hazard, I can roll off the throttle, but it's time to get it fixed. And then uh, I was coming back from Kentucky and I went to open up the rear back seat and the ignition won't hit that position to unlock the rear back seat. Which is no problem, I'm never in there anyway, except for if I have an issue with the rear shock or something like that where it has to come off. Which way am I gonna go? I'm gonna blast out front of them. And then I have some corrosion issues. You know, I, I, I get why I have corrosion issues. Uh, mainly with the foot pegs and it's one of those things if BRP doesn't want to cover it, I'm not going to throw a fit about it because I know how to fix it and it's going to be an easy, cheap fix. So, you know, I'm a person, if, if something's in warranty, you want to take advantage of that warranty. That's why that warranty is there. So you don't come out of pocket to get something fixed. But on the downside of that, if there's something you can fix for cheap, why send your car spider, it, you know, in for service when you can knock it out and, and be out just a few bucks? But I'm going to be checking out the new shop, especially now that I had some issues with this belt. I don't know if maybe it's a, a front sprocket issue or I just did something wrong. But definitely need to get that throttle fixed. I don't need to have any issues uh, when I'm out with my daughter. That would not be, uh, would not be good. You got big tines hanging off the back of that thing. Scoop up them big old bales of hay. That would suck to run into the back of one of those. But it is a beautiful day out today. and I don't mind slowing down and just taking a look here really quick while I'm behind Mr. Tractor Guy. This is a, a beautiful little road. It's 312. And I don't... I'm assuming it starts right there where I entered. And uh, 312 ends up on 93. So it's not a long stretch. Maybe 7-8 miles long. But it is uh, one of those roads that I, I love to ride. And check out Gimpy Garage. The guy can tell a story. Absolutely. Get around these little turns, because these are not little turns. And we have an Amish community right here, and I don't want to come around the corner and run into an Amish buggy, because that would not be good. You know, and they farm both sides. Stay safe, everybody, and I'll see you in a couple days.